let me address here the question of Mr. Rashid Singh. I hope. With the entry of COVID, all schools and review centers were forced to stop their physical operation. All shifted to online. Different centers use different advertising tricks and gimmicks that cause more confusion in the minds of reviewers and students rather than help them. But in order to give you clear idea on what you will actually experience in our online review, we created this channel so that you will see, know, and experience firsthand how we do it online. But before we begin our discussion today, please don't forget to visit, like our FB page, Padilla Review Center. The link is found below. Please also subscribe in our YouTube channel. Please don't forget to click the notification bell. Choose all so that you will always be updated and notified regarding all our posts. Also, please don't hesitate and we will appreciate it if you will like every post that we will make. This is for all of you who are reviewing and students of math, science, and engineering, most especially civil engineering. So if you have problems or questions or topics that you want us to discuss, just send it to us through our contact numbers below. So let's begin. Let me address here the question of Mr. Rashid Singh. I hope I pronounce your name properly. He asked, why is it that when he solved this equation, in his calculator, no matter how many times he tried, this is his answer. While in his classmates' calculator, the answer is this. So he asked help, why is it so? Actually, his answer and his classmates answer are both half correct. Why did I say half correct? Because there are two answers to the equation. One is this, the other is this. Both are correct. Okay? But the answer must be both of them, not just one of them. Why? Now look at this. This is one thing that you must really know and understand about ship solve. In ship solve, your equation will give you only one root. And that root depends on the trial or guess value. Okay, for example, let us input this in your calculator. So, input it, then shift solve. Notice that your calculator will ask you solve for x. There is a value in your calculator depending on the last x that your calculator computed. So, let us say for uniformity, all of us encode it. Then solve for x, let us give our calculator a value. Let us say, solve for x, 0. When I type 0, meaning I am assigning a trial value or a guess value for x, equals 0, equals. So with this equation, and I try, this is my trial value, trial value, x is 0, then it will give you the actual value equal to 1.368 times 10 to the minus 3. So this is correct, right? Press equals again, solve for x. Let us give it another value, 1 equals 
So, your calculator will again give you 1.368 times 10 to the minus 3. Let us try again. Equals, solve for x. Let us give it x equals negative 1. Equals. It is still 1.368 times 10 to the minus 3. What about if I will give it a value of, let us say, this is very small number, no? 0.001368, right? Let me try x is 0 0.002, okay? Let's try that. So, press equals again. Then solve for x, 0 0.002 equals 1.36758, right? Okay, so it is still 1.368 times 10 to the minus 3. Press equals again. What if I give it a value of 0 0.0025 equals point zero zero two five equals it will now give you two point six three two times ten to the minus three it's this one right it really depends on the trial value that you input let's try again equals solve for x what if we give it 0 0.003? It is again 2.632 times 10 to the minus 3. What if I give it a value of 0 0.004 equals? It will give you again 2.632 times 10. To the minus 3. Between these two, both of these are correct answer. When you input a value close to 2.632, by the way, this is 0 0.002632. While this one is 0 0.001368. <coughs> If the value that you input is closer to this than this, then your calculator ship solve will most likely give you this one. Like 0 0.002, 0 0.00 like this, negative 1. But sir, but why 1 gives you this one? There is an exception because your calculator is actually using Newton's method of approximation. But generally, generally, a rough approximation is if your trial value is nearer to this, it will give you this value. Okay? If your trial value is nearer to this, it will give you this value. You get it? But not always. Okay? So, that is the problem with ship sold. Correct? So, it is important that you know that there is still another route if there is still another route. Now, it is important that you know the rule of equation. The rule of equation says the number of routes is equal to the degree of equation so number of roots equals degree of equation this equation take note if you expand this this would be x squared right so therefore there must be two roots correct let me simplify this this is minus 20 over this minus 20 over this minus 50 times 
10 to the 6 is equal to, you expand this, this is x squared minus twice the product, 2 times 0 0.002, that would be 0 0.004 plus square of the second, negative 0 0.002 squared. Let's simplify the equation. This is x squared minus 0.004x plus this quantity minus this quantity. Okay? So I have it 0 0.002 squared minus 20 divided by 50 exponent 6 equals. So this is 3.6 times 10 to the minus 6 equals 0. Let me solve this quadratic equation by using mode 5 down arrow key 1. So mode 5 down arrow key 1. This is the key for quadratic equation. Your calculator will require you to input A, the coefficient of x squared, B, the coefficient of x, C, the constant. So, 1 equals minus 0 0.004 equals 3.6 times or exponent minus 6 equals equals your x1 in your calculator is 2.632 times 10 to the minus 3. Press equals again. Then your second root is going to be 1.3675 times 10 to the minus 3. You follow? You have this root and this root. Both of them are correct. But ship soul will give you only one of them at a time. So you have to keep on trying in order to bring out the other one. Okay? So this uh, ship solve is convenient. But it is always better if you cannot make the other root appear. It is better to shift to normal quadratic equation. Okay? Or... If this is the equation, you can do a little manipulation. So it would be easy to solve this. Okay, like for example, I bring this here. It will be minus 20 over minus 50 times 10 to the 6. And what is this equal to? It is equal to x minus 0 0.002 squared. We know that this is squared, so there are two values. So to get rid of this squared, you take the square root of both sides. Okay? Square root squared, it will cancel. But since that is squared, this must be plus and minus. So therefore, there is no more squared. There is no more square root. So your x is going to be equal to this one plus and minus 20 square root 20 divided by 50 exponent 6. So this would be 6.3245 times 10 to the minus 4 bring point negative point zero zero two here so this should be plus 0 0.002. If you take this plus this one, your x is going to be 2.632 times 10 to the minus 3. You follow? Well, if you take minus this plus this, you'll get x is 1.3675 times 10. To the minus 3. So you can also use this. Remember, if you get the square root of squared, it must be plus and 
minus. You follow? You get it? To meet the requirement of number of roots equals degree of equation. You follow? Okay. There's another person who asked me, one who is taking BS Math. The same day that Ras Singh asked me this question, a BS Math student also asked me to enlighten the students or her or him about the trial or guess value. Okay? So because there are many trial values, actually, any trial value will do. But just as I said, your trial value will dictate the displayed value of your calculator. You follow? So normally, your trial value will dis your calculator will display the root that is nearer to your trial value. I hope I answered the question. And I really am inviting you to enroll in our calculator tricks and techniques program. It is a very worthy investment for all of you. Uh, you will learn a lot in that program. Actually, it is composed of 30 modules, more than 600, around 660 problems solved using our calculator so sulit na sulit a very worthy investment so the link on how to enroll is found below okay so see you i hope i answered your question you are always welcome to send me the questions it is better if you will send the questions both in youtube and also in our messenger account or you can also send it in our Facebook account. It's easier to respond to Facebook rather than in uh, YouTube. Okay? So, see you.